An organization with deep roots in the New River Valley is celebrating 50 years with an upcoming exhibit at the Montgomery Museum of Art and History. We're talking about Warm Hearth Village and its commitment to senior care. Here to tell us more about how you can celebrate the legacy of this organization is Ali Davitt and we have War with Warm Hearth and we also have Casey Jenkins, a familiar face with the museum. So happy to have you both here. This is a great celebration. Congratulations. Thank you, Kate. Thank so you much. for having us. Yeah. So let's jump into it. Um, Talk to us about 50 years. This is quite a milestone for Warm Hearth and Ali. You all are trying to celebrate it the best way you can. What's been this kind of journey for the organization? Well, again, it's our golden anniversary, so very exciting. Um, we uh, Warm Hearth Village was started in 1974, and it was the vision of Dr. Kuncha here. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we brought him with us. He is part of the exhibit. Um, and his vision was to uh, do something for the people of the United States as a thank you for freeing uh, the Netherlands from occupation during World War II. Wow. And um, he had, uh, his mother-in-law was in a senior facility in the Netherlands and he uh, galvanized the community, raised funds to create this continuing care senior community in the New River Valley. That's so powerful. And this little cutout, it's not very little, as you can see, it's pretty big, <laughs> but it's a, a big kind of exclamation. It looks like fun. And clearly this is something he was proud of. And it's a pride for our area to be able to continue that legacy as well. Absolutely. And he was such a visionary. He wrote a hundred year plan and we're at 50 years. We still reference this and and he was spot on um, wow. again uh, he integrated the relationships with the universities around us um, so we have a lot of research a lot of innovative programs that model the Dutch uh, way of treating their seniors and senior care in the Netherlands. That's amazing. And you are going to be having an exhibit full of different artifacts on display and you'll be able to see it with Casey. Um, but let's talk about some of the uh, ideas of what we might see on that exhibit or on display. You have something here. Can we talk about it? We do. I, I brought a couple things. We okay. have a lot of documents and really the exhibit is based on the scenario of a point in time for Dr. Kruncha um, as he was, you know, uh, engaging all of the civic groups, um, uh, all of the boards. Uh, there was so much community effort that was involved in building Warm Hearth Village. Mm -hmm. And so some of the things, we have some of our um, um, original designs. Wow, um, that's amazing. So people will be able to see this and kind of get a closer look of just what that vision was exactly. and how you're continuing it today too. Um, I wanna talk about the idea of partnerships because clearly that was a mission for the founder, but also you're continuing that today right. with you and Casey sitting here. So Casey, why is this important for you all to be involved uh, as a history museum? Sure, I, I think both organizations are no stranger to partnerships. You know. A rising tide raises all boats for our community. And so for the museum, you know, um, what we can do on the history side of things is to be great stewards of the stories, the narratives that exist in Montgomery County and Newark Valley. And you can't go very far without figuring out what Warm Hearth is and what that incredible story and 50 year legacy is. So that history being made in our backyard, quite literally, is why it's so important for us uh, to have an exhibit about this. Um, the exhibit is entitled Rooted in Community, which I think as Allie described, really is that vision um, coming forward in a hundred year plan that they have. So at the museum, we're just honored to be able to help tell that story, celebrate the 50th anniversary for them, um, and be a good steward of our region's history and heritage, starting with giants like Warm Hearth that have really made a true difference in the community for all of us. Yeah, that's so well said. And clearly just sitting here together today is just showing that this is a great community partnership and you can see just the smiles on people's faces over there at Warm Hearth. Um, it's making a difference in people's lives and Allie, um, let's just talk about how people can celebrate with you. There's a great sort of reception coming up at the end of this month if you guys want to share those details. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take that. So that's coming up the end of this month. That's Wednesday, July 31st um, from five to seven at the museum. Um, it'll be an open reception with um, hors d'oeuvres and food as well, um, an ability to talk to some of the residents at Warm Hearth, some of the board as well, some esteemed guests, um, and really an opportunity for a lot of folks to really unpack the history of Warm Hearth. I know myself, I wasn't really in tune with what that was until talking with Allie and others. So there's just so much there. So all of that will be on display July 31st. It is a special exhibit though. Um, this is running at a shorter time than most. So you do wanna make sure you get there for the opening reception. 
and then it will run for about three and a half weeks during the month of August. Okay, beautiful. So there's time yeah. to get out there, but of course we want you for that opening night. Um, Allie, any last words for people who might be watching today about the future or just celebrating these 50 years? Well, it, it'll be in another exciting 50 years. There's certainly a need in our community and as a nonprofit, we are committed to fulfilling that need. And so we're excited about oh, this yeah. reception and we wanna be able to celebrate all of our partners that have helped get us to where we are today. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for both Thank being much, here you. and make sure you come on out. It'll be a lot of fun. Those details on your screen now and we'll make sure that link is over on our website, wdbj7.com.